Hi there and welcome. This is David from the Happy House Farm in the Philippines. And I just want to give you an update about some of the experiments we've been doing. One is an experiment in cover crop. If you don't know what a cover crop is, basically cover crop is to keep the soil covered, very simply, between crops. Now sometimes you might actually eat that crop or you might just plow it back in or basically uh, let it mulch back in. We're avoiding plowing like anything now. Uh, we're in conversion, so we, we have to do a little bit of plowing on some of our fields because they're just unproductive otherwise. Um, but we're working here with one, which is Cardis. Now, I'll just quickly show you the field. There's the field. Nothing exciting, it's just a field, but in here is our Cardis cover crop. Now, this was planted by hand in a time of the year which is bone dry. This land has not seen anything for nearly two years. There's been no cover crops, it's not been plowed, and basically it's been no water now for one month. So it's rock hard. And we thought, well, what can we plant? Now, we heard about Cardis, which is pigeon pea, as a cover crop. We thought, whoa, that's interesting, because we didn't realize we were actually growing pigeon pea behind me here, and I'll show you in a second, for soil erosion control. And pigeon pea is actually a nitrogen fixer as well. So we decided to plant it as a cover crop in a rock hard ground. We individually dug the holes and uh, basically 300 by 300. I'll show you the grid. You can probably see the moisture on the ground where the individual grids have been actually planted. And I'll show you the cardis. I'll have to sort of go down uh, low. And you can see the little baby cardis here. And here's one sitting here and there's another. And hopefully you can see that on the video. Here it is. And you can see the long row here going out. And we didn't do any weeding. We just used the machete to cut the grass where it was needed. And we just dug a hole with a steel bar. We put compost in it, in the hole. Quite a deep hole, about eight to nine inches deep. And that's about uh, 250 millimeters. And we did a hole that was about this round. And we filled it with compost and then put the seed in the top, already sprouted. The seed had a little tail. So that means that we knew we would get a good success rate. Now we came and watered this yesterday and we didn't realize it actually sprouted because there's a lot of grass and things in here and, and, and uh, secondary weeds that we never removed. We will remove those by hoeing. Or we will may have to plow this field because this is the recovery field. It's going to go in from uh, this. It's going to it's going to in conversion from conventional to organic. So we might have to do one plowing this year to get the soil ready for um, not being plowed, <laughs> ready for planting of rice. So basically in here, we put in the cardis and it's growing very, very, very well. It took about four days to come up. And we were like, oh, is it going to come up? Is it going to, oh, what's going to, it's born dry. But cardis is drought resistant. Now this went in soil that was one month, no rain. We just micro watered each hole. We're short of water. We have two barrels of water a day right now on the farm, which is about 400 liters of water. Not a lot for, we've got four people here at the moment. And we've got to water the garden and so on and the, the vegetables. So water is a premium right now. So we micro watered each hole, which was a lot of work, but now the cardis are coming up and it's basically not a massive field. Obviously doing this on a commercial scale would not be viable. So we've got about uh, six fields that we could do here, but we don't have the water. So we've just done this one experiment. I'll show you Cardis behind me as it's fully grown. This is a two-year-old mature Cardis. Are you ready to do a little run to the Cardis?